Seven more people have died due to COVID-19 in Kern County. Public Health made the announcement this morning. They also confirmed 577 new cases today. We've now had over 21,000 positive cases since March. 151 people have died. Roughly three-fourths of Kern's cases are considered active at this time. Almost 15,000 residents are recovering at home. But today we learned hospitals are being pushed to the limit by how many patients they're treating. Now, as case numbers continue to rise, more and more ICU beds are filling up in our local hospitals. Some area hospitals are reaching their capacity and are now executing plans that will push them into surge capacity. The current public health director made the announcement today in front of the Board of Supervisors. 17's Aton Wallace joins us now with a closer look at bed capacity. Public Health Director Matt Constantine shared a hospital-by-hospital hospital breakdown. If you talk to hospitals, they are stressed. They are taxed. Matt Constantine today presenting about the stark reality facing current area hospitals. Most of our 10 acute care hospitals are inundated with ICU patients. Um, Adventist Bakersfield, Kern Medical, Mercy Downtown, and Mercy Southwest are all at or exceeding their licensed ICU bed capacity. And as for those who have not exceeded ICU capacity, Constantine says they're close. As of this morning, Ridgecrest Regional has seven available ICU beds. Memorial, Bakersfield Heart, and Kern Valley each has three available ICU beds. The same goes for Tehachapi. Delano Regional has one. But Constantine also says it's important to remember the hospitals have surge plans in place once they have exceeded their licensed capacity. In some of the facilities, they have been able to significantly expand um, ICU surge beds. Some are um, perhaps twice as much as they currently have. And a reminder, he says, we can all do our part to prevent future hospitalizations. I think we have helped to impact that curve. We need to do a lot more. As we see the hospitals filling up, uh, that's a reminder, a stark reminder that we need to do more. We didn't do enough. We need to recognize the words that have come out from the state about wearing a mask as you are today and as I do walking in to keeping our distance. And remember, the stay-at-home order still exists.